In this video, we're going to look at the relationship between the law of cosines and the dot product. So I have a triangle whose sides have lengths a, b, and c, and the angle theta is opposite side c. I'm going to put vectors along this triangle. So I now have a vector b, c, and a. Notice from the triangle using the tail-to-tip method that b plus c is equal to a. I put the tail of c at the tip of b, and then the tail of a goes from the tail of b to the tip of c. Now if I subtract the vector b from both sides, I have the vector c is equal to the vector a minus b. Now I want to take the dot product of both sides, which I can because c is equal to a minus b, so I take the dot product on the left by c, and the dot pro product on the right by a minus b. Now c dotted into itself is just the magnitude squared. On the right hand side, we multiply just like we do in regular algebra. First we have a dotted into a, the first two terms. Then we have the outer term, a dotted into minus b. Minus comes on the outside, so I have a minus a dot b. Now I have the inner terms, negative b dotted into a, I can pull the minus sign out, so I have minus b dot a, and then negative b dotted into itself, the negative signs cancel, and I have b dotted into itself. That gives me now a squared and b squared for the first and last terms, and since the dot product is commutative, a dot b is equal to b dot a, so I have minus 2 a dot b. Using the geometric interpretation of the dot product, that turns into c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine theta. And theta is the angle between a and b tail to tail and the angle opposite c. Thus, it fits the definition of both the dot product and the law of cosines.